Now, one of the things that I, I did want to bring up um, was the fact that when I Google searched uh, your name, one of the first things that popped up, and I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there's a video on YouTube called Steve Smoger, A Boxer's Best Friend. Uh, and it's, he's, he's, the, the title of the video says, Is Steve a little bit too, quote, close uh, to the fighters? And I think somebody's trying to disparage you by saying that you're a little bit, uh, quote, too touchy-feely in there with the fighters. And I think maybe this started to yeah. come to light after you kissed uh, a fighter. So uh, do you know about this video? And what is your reaction to that? Yeah, my reaction is, listen, there's always going to be the naysayers. Um, uh, you build a bond. You build a bond because, you know, when you're in there, uh, it's the closest thing to, the, it's the last vestige of man against man, woman against woman. And, uh, you know, I just want to display my pride in them, uh, I've been doing it for years. It's it's really subconscious. But when you see Mickey Ward and Emmanuel Augustus give their entire heart, and it's the fight of the year, you're going to embrace them. And you see them outside the ring. You establish bonds with Miguel Cotto, um, with Felix Trinidad, with Bernard Hopkins, with Kelly Pavlik. They all recognize you at various events. You always listen. You're always going to have the naysayers that people have never met me, that the disparaging stuff and I slap on the behind and I do this and I do that. But you know something, Daniel, all of that is by the wayside because the highest honor one can receive and is to be honored by your peers. And in 2015, I was humbled. Uh, I gained the Academy Award, the Nobel Peace Prize, the Emmys, Oscars, when I was nominated and inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. So all the naysayers, you're always going to... Jealousy is terrible. And the naysayers out there have no idea. People have never met me, and they formulate their opinions and so forth and so on. But apparently... To those who know, to those who matter, to those who vote, I was a first ballot inductee into the International Boxing Hall of Fame, 25th, class of 2015, only the 11th referee in the history of the sweet science to be inducted. So they can run there, they can run what they want to run, they can say what they want to say. Uh... Um, a veteran official that's trying to stay relevant in today's modern society with all the up and coming referees. Um, one article has me as the most senior referee, if not the world, the United States, Dr. Lou Moret may be more senior. Dick Flaherty was senior. He retired, uh, and um, I'm senior in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, the Mohegan Sun, Foxwoods. So there must be something to longevity. And um, by last count, box rec, I have the second most number of bouts in the history, in the history, I repeat, of the sweet science. Wow. Mike England, a fellow... Mike England, a fellow referee who I've had the pleasure of working with in the Midwest, has more bouts than I am. I think I'm 30 bouts shy of the thousand Ugh. for my career, and Michael's a and Michael's a bit over a thousand. But here's the difference, and I say this with all due respect to Michael. Michael will appear at a venue. He will do ten four rounders in one night. Because that is the how the fight programming goes in Missouri, Kansas, Idaho, and the various jurisdictions. I had the pleasure of working out there. So they'll assign one ref, and it's all up-and-coming kids. And Michael will do 10 bouts in one night. It may take me three months to do 10 bouts. I did four in Philly. 
Saturday night, and I did a up and coming card young man in Bermuda. Where I did one pro fight and assisted on the others because they were amateurs. I don't work the amateurs, so uh, Michael is I think at one thousand thirty six, and I'm at the nine seventy seven. But Michael's working smaller venues in the Midwest, and I'm blessed to work. Uh, Madison Square Garden is coming Friday at Barclays Center, where your number of bouts are 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 significantly lessened because you're working. We have three refs working on Friday. There may be a max of nine bouts, so maybe I'll do three, depending on what the commission decides. So I'm very very honored to you know, still be relevant in this wonderful fight game. And you're going to have knockers, guys, they'll, they'll second guess and second. You know, you'll do a thousand bouts and then a pundit that doesn't know X from Y, a left hook from a fish hook, will say, well, I was too late or too early. Yeah. What about the other 900? And, you know, so... Listen, you cannot be thin-skinned. They pay their ticket. They can yell and they can... Do, but I was validated two years ago. I never thought that I'd be a first ballot inductee. I was so thrilled to be nominated because it's similar to the Baseball Hall of Fame, Daniel. When you're nominated, you stay on the ballot for at least three years. So I said, well, look, if I don't make it in 15, my name will come up again in 16 and or 17, when they called me and said, first ballot, and I commend you and your cohorts, I got every vote in Europe because of my affiliation with uh, Bigger's Better Boxing, the WKN, and Eurosport. Every writer in Europe voted for me. And after I found out uh, at the next International Boxing Hall of Fame seminar where they release results after your induction so of course if they want to say touchy feely that's their right uh i will continue to my interest is the safety the welfare of the fighter and like i say i have relationships that have been, i've had guys come up to me at various venues and i really don't remember so you did my first fight and I, I broke in with you at the, at the Blue Horizon, or I saw you at the Madison Square Garden or whatever, and so forth and so on. So it's what the fight industry says as opposed to the, the, the pundits and the YouTubers. So right. That's my response, young man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nowadays we call them the haters, you know? <laughs> And they're out there. And oh, I, yeah. And I've never met some of them. I've never met some of them. And they go, there's one guy that writes in New York. I've never met him. And uh, there was one guy that I got because I'm the former, I'm a judge. You know, I, I retired from the bench several years back. And one fellow referee kept on the line. He gets his jobs because he's a judge and he's a political hack. <laughs> well, I'm a How am I getting, you know, so, you know, it hurt you. Listen, it hurts my family and friends more. I'm used, to, as I said, my validation is the gorgeous ring that I wear on my finger that says inductee International Boxing Hall of Fame. Right. So let them not, when they get an International Boxing Hall of Fame ring, let them knock until the haters acquire that ring. And the induction ceremony, I suggest they um, uh, write about write about uh, you know their uh, other other endeavors. 